Здравейте! My name is Colin Gasamas, and I'm a researcher at the University of Washington in Seattle, Washington. My research is primarily concerned with literacy and social behavior interventions for children and their families. One idea that we know from research is that behavior is a form of communication. Oftentimes, if a student is disruptive in class, the teachers will think of that student as a bad student. We know that this is not the case. The term functional behavior analysis is used for the process to describe how we determine what behavior is trying to communicate to us. So if we think about our situation where a child is being disruptive in class, sometimes it can mean that the material is not being presented in a way that the student can understand it. If the student is disruptive and the teacher sends the student out of the learning setting, for instance, to the principal's office, the student may start to associate this behavior that they're using in the classroom uh, with getting away from the undesired activity. It's our job as educational professionals to see this and to understand what's going on before the behavior happens, what the behavior is trying to say to us, and then what the student gets out of the behavior. We call these the ABCs of behavior. The A is what happens before the behavior. The behavior itself, and we talk about it as being specific and observable, and then what the student gets or the consequence. If teachers know what it means when they see this type of situation in their classroom, they can put together learning so that students can make the most of school. In the situation that I was referring to, the student is being disruptive after the teacher places demand on the student. They're asked to go see the principal because of this disruptive behavior. The disruptive behavior serves the function of allowing the student to escape the demand that the teacher is placing on them. One way to avoid having the student be removed and having the likelihood that they will use this disruptive behavior is simply agreeing with the student on a system to allow them to take a break when the demands of the work get to be too hard. An example of this is simply uh, giving the student a hand signal. They raise their hand when they want to take a break and then they can leave silently without disrupting the class. Another example of a strategy that works is just giving the student a visual schedule with times that they're going to work during the period so that they have a plan for when they're working with the whole class.